Good evening. Welcome to the Brothers in Song winter program. I know some of you are putting this together. You ticket said spring concert. Your program says winter concert. Um, something is afoot. <laughs> this, for example. Um, when I got the little thing to proofread for the tickets, I was proofreading for spelling, uh, times, location. Um, and just for the record, spring concert was spelled correctly. <laughs> but being as it's February, um, we're, this is our winter concert. Um, and to prove it, we are going to do a song about winter uh, called Winter Song. <laughs> and the, it's, a, it's an old men's glee club style song. Uh, we're singing about the camaraderie of men sitting around the fire with a smoke and a drink and, and the cold winter outside and talking about, uh, we're talking about, the, I heard bells, um, which reminds me, turn off your cell phones. Um, <laughs> singing about wine witches and wolf winds and uh, smoke wraiths and fire goblins. And so when you're looking out there, you think, what are they talking about? That's, that's what we're talking about. Um, so th that's going to be our, our song there. Um, I know the winter, I'm going to try and get this concert over so you can go home and watch the opening ceremonies. The Olympics are starting. And in honor of that, we were going to do the theme uh, from the Olympics, but um, it's predominantly trumpets. <laughs> and <laughs> we're kind of a vocal group, so we, <laughs> we opted to just do our winter song, um, which is. Oh, the song by the fire, past the pipes, past the hole. Oh, the song by the fire, with the skull, with the skull. Oh, the song. Great white cold walks 
This next song, You Will Be My Music, is a song written by a man named Joseph Raposo. And um, you know of this man, whether you know the name or not. He's uh, most noted for his work with children's television. Um, he was a, a songwriter, composer, uh, pianist, uh, coloring books, I don't know. He did all kinds of things. Um, but he, uh, he was one of the founders of Sesame Street with Jim Henson. And he was the musical director. And he wrote the theme song for Sesame Street, um, The Electric Company, Shining Time Station, um, Three's Company, The Ropers. Uh, he did a lot of these shows. Uh, but he was also very, very good friends with Frank Sinatra. Uh, Frank Sinatra loved him, called him the genius, recommended him to all his friends to use him as a piano player. He loved the way he played. And in 1973, uh, Frank Sinatra put out an album called Old Blue Eyes is Back, and he wanted the album to be entirely of this man's songs, Joseph Raposo. Uh, the record companies didn't really want that, so he got four of his songs on there, including the one we are going to do now called You Will Be My Music, and it features our own Frank Sinatra, who goes by Lamar Young. <laughs> to see. 
the final song of this short little section is our, our nod to patriotism, uh, a song by um, Francis Williams and Marjorie Elliott, Let There Be Music, Hymn to America. For this next section, I'd like to uh, draw your attention over here to the, the center. Uh, John Rogerson and Jill Maurice are going to do a couple songs for you and then uh, give you a little information about uh, another upcoming concert. John Rogerson, Jill Maurice. I really can't stay. Baby, it's cold outside. I got to go away. But baby, it's cold outside. This evening has Was been hoping that you so drop in. Very nice. I'll hold your hands. They're just like My ice. My father will start to worry. Beautiful, watch your hurry. My father will be pacing the Just floor. listen to that fireplace so roar. Really, I'd better scurry. Beautiful, please don't hurry. Oh, maybe just a half a kiss more. Put some records on while I the pour. The neighbors might think. Baby, it's bad out there. Say, what's in this no, rain? No cabs to be had out there. I wish I knew how. Your eyes are like starlight she now. I'll take your hat. Say your hair looks swell. I to say no, no, no. Mind if I move in a little closer? At least I'm going to say that I tried. Now what's the sense of hurting my I pride? Really Baby, don't hold out. Ah, but it's cold outside. Baby, it's cold outside. The answer is no. But baby, it's cold outside. This evening has Lucky been that you so dropped nice in. and warm. 
Look out that window. Take a look at that storm. My sister will be suspicious. Gosh, your lips look delicious. My brother will be there at the door. Waves upon a tropical shore. My maiden aunt's mind is You know your vicious. lips really are delicious. Well, maybe just a half a kiss more. Oh, was such a pleasant before. I gotta go home. Baby, it's gone out there. Please let me go. Honey, you'll freeze out there. It's really been grand. How can you but I touch don't my hand? You see? How can you do this thing? There's to bound me? to be talk to my Think of my lifelong sorrow. At least there will be plenty in If you caught pneumonia and I died, really can't stay. baby, don't hold out. Ah, oh, but, but it's cold. cold. Baby, it's cold. cold. I'm sorry. Harmonizing a song, or I'm reciting a poem. Hours go by and they give me the eye, walking my baby back home. We stop for a while, he gives me a smile. I cuddle my head to his chest. I'm starting to pet, and that's when I get my powder on. After I kind of straighten my tie, she has to borrow my comb. One kiss, then I continue again, walking my baby back home. She's afraid of the dark, so I have to park outside of her door till it's light. I say if he tries to kiss me, I'll cry. I dry her tears all through the night, hand, hand in hand, hand to a barbecue, barbecue stand. stand. Right from her doorway we roam. Each and then it's a pleasure again. Walking my baby, talking my baby, loving my baby. I don't mean baby, walking my baby. Back home. Nighty night. Next is our sacred section of the program, these next four songs. And you can see we've moved Jane over to this wonderful organ over here for this first song, uh, With a Voice of Singing, by Martin Shaw. With a voice of singing, declare ye this and let it be
uh, for this last song in this section, uh, the spiritual He Never Failed Me Yet, featuring soloist Vince Morris. Never failed me yet. He never failed me yet. He never failed me yet. 
the last few concerts, we've given uh, a moment to our accompanist, Jane Dunn. Um, the last few concerts, she's played a piece on the piano, and we love that. But tonight, just for a little change up, she's going to do her little segment on the organ. Our accompanist, Jane Dunn. Seventy percent of our brain is water. This one amazed me. Ninety percent of our lungs are made up of water. I mean, we're that close to drowning, it seems, right, right off the bat. Uh, Seventy percent of the world is covered with water. Ninety-six percent of that is salt water. Uh, if these percentages aren't exact, it doesn't really matter because 67% of all statistics are made up on the spur of the moment. Um, <laughs> but anyway, water. Um, it can inspire, it can soothe, um, it's necessary for life. And so we, we have a series of songs that either are about water, inspired by water, refer to water. I'm also, at the moment, starting to realize the problem with doing this. Um, I hope there's not a mad rush to the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> but, but this is the last section of the song, so w when we get to the end, every man for himself. Uh, our first song is um, a nice, easygoing song uh, called Away from the Roll of the Sea. And it's talking about the small boats that are sitting in a harbor and their story and you can make connections to your own life as you see fit, away from the roll of the sea. <laughs> Give no indication of a 
for this next one, I'm just going to read what it says inside our score. I'll tell you about this one. Um, the song Break, Break, Break was written in 1835 by Alfred Lord Tennyson, one of England's most popular poets. An elegy for a friend, the poem portrays the sea as life, remorselessly moving on. This setting begins with the crashing of the sea against the rocky crags, dramatically introducing the piano accompaniment. The swelling dynamics from soft to loud to soft represent the swelling of the sea and the feelings of loss conveyed by the poet. This next was going to take just a moment of explanation. Um, the song we're about to do is the hardest one we have done since, since I've been here. Um, very challenging. Uh, the notes, the rhythms, the articulations, the blend, the balance, everything about this was, was difficult, and we worked very hard on this one. Um, really hoping it shows. Uh, but uh, one of our members, Tom Allen, he didn't want to wave. Front row in the middle. <laughs> the older looking gentleman. <laughs> anyway, he wrote me a letter. He did a little research on this song, Loch Lomond. And I just thought I'd share it with you. It's, it's kind of an interesting uh, little bit of information. And he wrote the letter so well that I'm just going to read the letter to you. Hi, Ben. Uh, <laughs> probably didn't need that part. Um, one of my interests has been collecting and translating old Scottish folk songs. Many of these songs, although the tunes are very familiar, are a mystery as to the content of the lyrics. 
Loch Lomond is a perfect example of a very familiar tune whose lyrics are puzzling. If you read the lyrics, you have no clue as to what the song is all about. <coughs> Actually, there are several versions concerning the meaning behind this song, but all refer to the capture of two Jacobite rebels by the British in the fight for Scottish independence. One is a volunteer and the other a professional soldier. The British decide that the volunteer can go free to return home, but the professional is to be executed. The lyrics are the professional's lament to the volunteer pending his execution. The first line of the chorus is, O oh, ye'll tack the high road, and I'll tack the low, and I'll be in Scotland afore ye. I can't read that without trying that, sorry. Um, <laughs> refers to the fact many major roads in that day were divided, and the high side was in fact raised and graveled, while the low road was not and was traveled by peasants and livestock. In later years, the high road became known as the highway. <clears throat> the bodies of slain soldiers normally would be returned home via the low road. The professional is indicating that even if his companion travels the high road and the professional's body is transported on the low road, the professional's spirit will arrive home before the volunteer. Uh, Jonathan Quick, the, the man who arranged this version, Jonathan Quick's arrangement of Loch Lomond adds a nice twist to the song. Uh, there's a section toward the end where everybody's got their own rhythmic line and we're saying the word die, die, over and over, D-A-I, die, die, just a, a syllable that we're using. Uh, but it says his arrangement, the die, dies we labor over so much are actually an adaptation of part of the tune to Scotland the Brave, uh, the unofficial national anthem of Scotland and a nice tribute to the professional. Um, for this song, we also are going to feature our uh, own Scottish tenor, O'Brien Medeiros. <laughs> I, I know that's Irish, but it just sounded good. I had, I had to try it, so. By yon bonny manse and by yon bonny breeze where the sun shines bright on love Lomond, where me and me true love were never want to fade. On the bonny, bonny banks of Loch
The next piece needs a little bit of uh, explanation also. It's called Umi Sono Ai, and uh, a little bit here about the composer. It's three or four or 12 pages. Uh, <laughs> get comfortable. Yeah, I know you're already thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Yuzo Kiyama, also known as uh, Kausaku Dan, is one of Japan's most popular entertainment personalities. A musician, television, and film star, he has been the host of innumerable musical variety programs, television dramas, theater, and cinema. As a guitarist, Kayama took his inspiration from the American instrumental group The Ventures, and in the 1960s composed several hit songs, including Black Sand Beach, Kimi Itsu Mademo, and Umi Sono Ai, the one we are doing. He is one of the biggest selling recording stars in the history of Japan. Vocally, he has been compared to Perry Como, yet his star personality is likened to that of John Wayne. <laughs> Presently, Kayama is busy hosting special televised programs, dramas, and touring internationally. He is truly the most beloved of Japanese entertainers for all ages, and an international perf performing icon in his own right. Now, about the song. The song tells of a man who goes to the ocean to reflect upon his life. In each wave, he sees opportunity. Though the retreat of each wave may reflect his failures, a new wave of hope soon appears. It carries him, it lifts him, and sends him toward his destiny. The ocean offers a remembrance, a conviction that all those we have touched, or all those who have touched us in life's journey, charts a course for a better tomorrow. This is a force in all its simplicity that gives power to life's meaning, to us as individuals, and to our fellow travelers. In Japan, Umi Sono Ai is recognized as a symbol of the country's spirit and the hope of a life fulfilled. The translation um, is as follows. Embraced by the sea, although he may fail, a real man will hold on to his passionate dream. Embraced by the sea, although he may be alone, a real man must ride over the waves while guided by the stars. O oh sea, my sea, that deep love that you provide, your heart accepts a man's feelings and gives us hope for tomorrow. 
Although it may only be mine, I entrust my life to you. Although it may be once, let's survive a storm and travel to a far place. O oh, sea, my sea, that deep love that you provide, embrace a man's emptiness into your arms. For this song, we will have soloist Jerry Kelly.
For our last song this evening, we'd like to, um, <laughs> since we've been waiting so long, wade in the water. Um, <clears throat> and this brings Jill up uh, to assist at the piano, one piano, four hands. And our soloist for this final song will be John Rogerson. Come 